Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with a brand new release, 2022 Topps Pristine Baseball. Eight box, pick your team number two. All card ship, eight box per case, blah, blah, blah. We didn't sell the Arizona Diamondbacks, so there'll be a winner take all Diamondbacks randomizer at the end if, if we get any Diamondbacks. Um, I don't think there's too many Diamondbacks anyway, but... All right, let's slide this over here. Big thanks to everyone. It's a big case, heavy stuff. A lot of one touches in there. Thanks for joining me on a new release Wednesday, boys and girls. Appreciate it. Also, another weird issue. Uh, we accidentally sold the Rockies twice. Oliver actually got them first. I think it was Sean Barnes. Uh, maybe have picked that up again for the second time. So, Sean, I refunded you already. Sorry about that. That also ended up being Last Spot Mojo as well. All right. Thanks, everyone. Let's actually set this aside here. Let's try it. Let's slide this camera back a little bit, give myself some room here. Trout on the cover looks really cool. Stuffed with hits. All right. <laughs> okay, so you can see on the top camera up there, you'll see those boxes all right there. <laughs> And there, there's like, there's a lot of layers in here. There's packs within packs, but we're looking for two autographs and one autograph relic per box on average. Six tri-packs, 10 cards per tri-pack, one touched cards. Yeah, outer pack, middle pack, inner pack. Good luck, everybody. Packs on packs on packs on packs. We'll use that blank card. We'll hide those encased cards here. Now let's open these.
It's easier just to slide the cards out like that. All right. And another set of packs. And there's a redemption down there too. Last pack is all base, the other two are refractors. All right, so all cards ship. There it is, pure power insert. Nice Wander Franco. That is for, where'd my list, I'll show you the list again. So that's for Riffer. Wander Franco rookie card. Roberto Clemente, Pristine Borders. Sammy Sosa. These were the, the cards that were on the outer area. 28 out of 50, Francisco Lindor. Zach Wheeler to 25. Torrey Hunter to 99. And behind Max Scherzer, you're due to receive a slice of a star auto relic of... Good luck, everybody. We'll see the city, maybe? First, T, Toronto, Tampa, Nelson Cruz, Tampa Bay Rays, Nelson Cruz. And that is for uh, for the Rays, for Edward. Now your encased cards. First one is Kyle Lewis. Nice, three out of 50. Carson Kelly, uh, Diamondbacks, two out of five. So someone's gonna get a train whistle at the end. Winner take all on the Diamondback stuff. We'll do a recap at the end too, this will be a long break. Ronald Acuna Jr. for the Braves. Gary, we got Paul DeYoung autograph, popular demand. Auto for the Cardinals. That's going to be for Jesse. And another autograph, Zach Wheeler. So three total in this. Zach Wheeler for the Phillies. That'll be for Chris Parent. And the last one here is Michael Brantley, 75 out of 75 Astros. All right, that was box one. Next box. Summer, yes, I am back. I, I was on a bit of a, spent some, uh, a long a bit of time off, a longer bit of time than I usually do. Treated myself. And I'm back this week. It worked great, actually. Yeah, I, I went public transport the entire way. Uh, I went, um, so I got, I got, you know, packed my bags, 
bag. And uh, it was a 15 minute walk to the metro station. And it was kind of, er it was really early in the morning, so there weren't too many trains running, but, um, but yeah, it took me about an hour to get to downtown LA from Santa Monica, which isn't so bad. And then popped on the Amtrak, snooze on the way down. And with, within a few hours, ta-da, I, I was in downtown San Diego. It worked out delightfully. Saved a lot of money on gas, I want to say. Um, saved a lot of money on gas and just general wear and tear on, on my motor vehicle. And saved me, saved, saved me from road rage. I don't get a lot of road rage, but every once in a while. It's pretty relaxing. I'd do it again. Guess what you found? Uh, I don't feel like guessing. Right, why don't you just tell me what you found? Ah, some 86 Pete Rose, Nolan Ryan, nice. Classics. I really like the design here. I'm a fan of this. There's Pure Power Babe Ruth for the Yankees. That's a cool insert for John. I like these pristine border cards too. I think those look sharp. They just uh, trimmed down the packaging a little bit. There's Willie Dennis to 99. And a Randy Arozarena autograph. Relic and autograph. Oh, that's the piece of a star autograph. That was that other, that Nelson Cruz. That's what this is going to look like, except Nelson Cruz on it. Nice, and this fits nicely in a 75 point top loader. 97 out of 99, Edward. Nice looking one there. And an Elvis Andrews, 11 out of 99. Your encased cards, we got Hank Aaron to 15, that's pretty cool. Braves, that's for Gary. We got Max Muncy to 50. John and my Dodgers. Tyler McGill. Autograph for the Mets. That's going to be for Aaron. Won that spot in the filler. And the Hawk, Andre Dawson, another autograph. 40 out of 50. Lonnie and the Cubs. We got another autograph, Fidel Bruhan. Is that, is that four, three autographs? No, we got the Arzarania, two, three, four autos in this. Wow. So that'll be for Edward and the Rays. And back here is Harmon Killebrew, 21 out of 75. A lot of people will say that he's the, the MLB logo, the silhouette. Just found out here that at work that Fry's in Arizona opened up a pilot store with Bed Bath & Beyond. Kroger owns Fry's. So it's a Fry's... It's a Fry's Bed Bath & Beyond? A Bed Bath & Beyond Fry's? Yeah, now we just have to find you... Uh, now we, we just have to find you the, the Wander and we'd, we'd be good.
When do I think I'll open up Soccer Chronicles? Well, whenever it sells out. But tonight, but not tonight, probably tomorrow. But whenever it sells out tomorrow. And that's, that's up to you. A calibration between the two companies. Huh. That's a weird collab. Wait, is Fry's a grocery store in Arizona? I was thinking Fry's Electronics. Rex, what are you talking about? I, I had no idea there was a Fry's grocery store, if that's what that is. That makes a little more sense. Oh, they're a grocery store chain. I see. Fry's is big in AZ. All right. No, I've, I've never heard of it. Never heard of it. That makes more sense. I was like, Kroger doesn't know his own Fry's electronics. And I was about to jump down Rex's throat. But no, I'm the one that's wrong. There's a Fry's grocery store, apparently. So anyhow, that makes more sense. I think Bed Bath & Beyond has tried to do um, grocery goods before. I remember the Bed Bath & Beyond in my neck of the woods had a collaboration with, I don't know how big these stores are, but like the, those world markets. What are those called? World World Market? World Food and something? But they did a collaboration with them where they would sell like beer, wine, and snacks, and coffee, and you know, like uh, dry goods, like, like fancy pastas and, and sauces and stuff like that. So they had like a big quarter, like a corner quarter of the store. It was a two two story one, so it was a Maybe a quarter of the top level of the main level that had that, but then um, but then they did, they stopped doing it. So I guess maybe they're experimenting with this alleged fries grocery store. I can get a little golf on, on my, my Peacock app here. Oh, Wander Franco rookie card. Heard of him, he's pretty good. That doesn't surprise me, Rex. Rex says it does surprise me that they're collaborating. Doesn't surprise me, or calibrating. Um, it doesn't surprise me because uh, I know that Bed Bath Beyond has previously tried to marry that with, uh, with, with, with grocery type stuff. So, doesn't surprise me. There's Kyle Lewis in 99. Tim Anderson to 99. And a Gary Sheffield Dodgers autograph. Dodgers edition. Piece of a star. Jersey and on-card auto. Nice. Chef has a nice autograph. Famous bat waggle, of course, that I'm sure most of you, anyone who watched Gary Sheffield play, attempted that bat waggle. And then they realized that your hands aren't as fast as his to go to move through the move through the strike zone. Uh, John with my Dodgers got randomized the Dodgers in the random. There's Tony Gwynn, RIP to 25. Padres, that'll be for for Paul. All right. Jared Walsh, slumping a little bit. I need him to, to do better. He's on my fantasy team. Jesse Winker. That is uh, for the Cincinnati Redlegs. 
Why does that say National League on? That's kind of weird. That's his All Star gear, but that'll go to that'll go to Cincinnati, of course. Seth Beer to twenty five. That's part of the Arizona lot. Pete Alonzo, nice Mets. That'll be for Aaron and the Mets. Nice one. And a Bo Jackson autograph. Nice. This guy knows. Brett Myers. 12 out of 25. Brett's a Royals guy. There you go, Brett. I like that. Nice low number. Cool design in the background. I dig it. And there's Luis Robert. Oh, Kroger around here have, have marketplaces that are kind of like giant Walmarts, Targets. They sell bed baths and stuff, type stuff already. Oh, then, yeah, even less surprising than Rex. Maybe they're like, we're, we're tired of doing that ourselves. Let's, 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 let's collaborate with the people who know how to do that stuff already. Makes even more sense. Next box. Now, is that the Fry's Grocery Store? Fry's Grocery Store and Bed Bath and Beyond. Is that 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 in my head is what uh, I I need people in the Pacific Northwest to uh, to sh to chime in here. Is that what Fred Myers is kind of like? Or anyone who's been to a Fred Myers or maybe used to live in the Pacific Northwest. So doesn't isn't Fred Myers like for a bed bath and beyond and uh, and groceries? That's right, yeah, you're right, right? Kroger does does indeed own Fred Meyer. So yeah, well, Rex, you might know. Do you do you know, do you know anything about Fred Meyer? Is that kind of like a bed bath and beyond with a grocery store? Got a little little golf in the background. On Peacock. I don't know these players. Man. The players that, that are the first one. Moose. What's going on? Oh, you, you thought Fred Meyer was just gross? We, we need uh, Pacific Northwesters to chime in here. There's got to be... It's, we're on West Coast time. There's got to be some people still awake. I know it's the middle of the week. But... Uh, we used to have a couple old regulars. I haven't seen them check in a little bit, but a couple old regulars. One of them uh, was a manager at a Fred Meyer's. I've never been to one, but I've got friends from the, from the Pacific Northwest that swear by Fred Myers. They say that's it's amazing. That Mike Trout looks pretty cool, right? I'm not sure what the value is of those inserts, but they're pretty sharp. sharp.
All right, we got a out of 50 Matt Veerling for the Phillies. That'll be for Chris. And a Christian Yelich from Chris to Christian. Yelich jersey and autograph. I think maybe he was supposed to sign over here. No, probably right here. It's... Brew Crew, that's going to go to John, John R., with that one. Mike Zunino to 99. And your encased cards. Joe Barlow. I think Rangers closer, right? Got Matt Olson. That's Matt Olson. That's uh, A's edition. It says Oak right there. A's edition. The A's on the checklist. That'll be for Adam. We got Adalas Garcia, Rangers, to 50. That's going to be for Lonnie. Cal Raleigh. Catcher for the Mariners autograph. Lonnie with the Mariners. Um, I got him on fantasy team. He's been Cal Raleigh's been hitting some some dingers. We got Rodolfo Castro to seventy five for the Buckos, and we've got Cody Bellinger, forty four out of fifty. Still trying to get it get into the groove a little bit in the season. All right, we are halfway through this full case break. Got about another twenty thirty minutes to go. Chad Doss saying Fred Meyer sells everything. So is it like a Bed Bath & Beyond? Yeah, Chad's in the Pacific North. Is it like a Bed Bath & Beyond and a grocery store? Or is it even more than that? Bed Bath & Beyond, grocery store with a splash of a splash of Home Depot maybe? Rex says, over, funny story, over a year ago, you had a new boss. I emailed him three times. First couple weeks he was here, never responded, got a little bit upset. You're being ignored. Come to find out, you're emailing another guy with the same name at a Fred Meyer in Washington State. Come on, Rex. You tell your new boss that? Yeah, they really got to work on this package in here. Got, okay, so Chad's saying it's more like a Target with a way better grocery section. Got it. Okay, because I've got a Target near me. Yeah, Battle's saying the same thing. He's saying Fred Meyer like a grocery store slash Target. Okay, like a Target and a Safeway combined. All right, okay, I can wrap my head around that. Because I do have a, they opened a, what they call like a, I don't think they call them city Targets anymore, but... You know, Targets have like three different versions, I think. They've got like a, a tiny version, a, 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 a tiny version, a small version, and like the full-sized full version. So not a lot of real estate in Santa Monica. So we got a small version, I think, or tiny version maybe. Anyway, um, It has a little bit, it has like a small refrigerated section, right? And a frozen section. And yeah, sometimes I kind of sit there and go, I wish this Target, I wish this Target had a, a larger grocery section. Like they have like a small pod of like, you know, fresh fruits and vegetables, but it's not really a huge selection and, you know. Not a lot of like fresh produce or fresh like meats, poultry and fish and stuff like that. But man, if I could if I could get a Fred Meyer, that's like a one stop shop. I could do everything there. Like if I could get. 
I could get like toiletries, t-shirt, some fresh food, all in one go. That'd be awesome. Yeah, we got, yeah, Ralph's Vons's, Ralph's and Vons's are pretty common. No, Ralph's is not like a Fred Meyer. Not, at least not, not the Ralph's, <coughs> excuse me, out here. Ralph's are not like that out here. Not, not the way, not the way, you know, Chad's describing Fred Meyer. Fred Meyer has Pokemon card vending machines. We need one of those here. I'll bet that would, that would I'll bet that would crush here. All right, we got Vlad Guerrero Jr. Five out of fifty Expos edition, of course, goes to the Nats. That'll be for Jesse and the Nationals. And Joe Carter, look at that piece of his lumber and big bold autograph. Touch them all, Joe. That'll be uh, for Aaron and the Blue Jays. And Casey Mize, poor Casey Mize. Having to do the old TJ, Tommy John. All right, you're in case cards. We got Justin Verlander. So move these. Here, we'll do a recap a little bit later. Joe Adele. Angels, that's going to go to Gary. The uh, Verlander goes to the Astros. That'll be for Michael. Got an Ozzy Albies for the Braves. That's for Gary. Tyler Glass now for the Rays. Rays having a great break. Edward, with Tampa Bay, out of 99. Ozzie Smith, the Wizard, 90 out of 99. Jesse, Cardinals. And we got Mark Kana, 50 out of 75 for the Oakland A's. Adam Richards. Onwards. I think the gang was saying earlier that we, that we have not seen a multi-auto card, a dual auto card. Yeah, I've, I've not noticed one as of yet. So let's keep our eye out for those in these final three boxes. I've got another Wanda Franco.
I was initially concerned about like the edges as I'm pulling these off, but it's actually a really, I can't really describe it, but it's, there's it's a really glossy sort of soft material here, so it doesn't seem abrasive at all. And I think these chrome cards, they're pretty, they're pretty on the, on the tougher side anyway. All right, another stack. Dragging a little bit here, ladies and gentlemen. Dragging like, like smog. In uh, in the Hobbit. World Baseball Classic coming out. Those those international players reminded me that I think there's going to be the World Baseball Classic coming up this spring. Next spring, I guess. We got Corey Seager that sold Dodgers edition to twenty five. That'll be for John and my Dodgers. And for the Dodgers, Walker Bueller, jersey and autograph. Get well soon, Walker. There you go, John. It's with a spot that he won in the uh, in the filler. These jersey autos look sharp. 65 out of 99. Josiah Gray having a nice season. George Brett to 99. George Brett for Brett in the Royals. Joey Gallo to 50. Rangers edition. That will be for Lonnie. Frank Thomas. Trust me, she'll like it too. John and the White Sox. Hammer and Hank Aaron for the Braves. Gary. Pure Power, Mo Vaughn autograph. Jonathan and the Red Sox. It's pretty cool. And Tyler Gilbert, Diamondbacks autograph. So three cards for the Diamondbacks. Winner take all on that. And Jose Barrios, one out of 75 for the Bluebirds. That's going to be for Aaron. All right, two boxes to go. We're almost done. We're almost there. I think we've got another case of this in the store. That might be our last case. I didn't see any more in the back. Um, we may be getting some more, but yeah, pick your team three. I think might be our last case of this pristine, so get involved before it's gone. Because next time we get more, the price might be a little different, could be higher. I think it should be three autos a box. My bad, I thought it was only going to be two. Three autos a box. I guess some have had two. I think Jason was saying earlier, some can have two. Some have had four. We have not seen a multi-auto card yet, though. No, you don't. You don't see a lot of Mo Vaughn autographs, do you? And a lot of times, if you do, I feel like it's it's like always Angels Mo Vaughn. I don't know. No, but in general, you're right. Yeah, I don't. We don't see a lot of Mo Vaughn autographs. It's good to see.
Oh, one case has had a box with just one. Oh, you're talking about Angels Autos. Yeah, maybe, I mean, we still got two boxes to go, so play to the whistle. No Albert Bell autos. Don't see a lot of Todd Zeal autographs. I feel like Todd Zeal is like the perfect candidate for like archive signature series retired player edition. I feel like we'll find some Todd Zeal in there someday. Todd Zeal. I see Todd Zeal as a Met in my head. What, what? I think he bounced around a little bit, right? Todd Zeal. Fractor on the Clayton Kershaw? I think so. That's the 50. Different parallel. That's uh, Mariners Ichiro, Lonnie with the Mariners. That's right, he was, wasn't he? Was he? He was a Dodger for a little bit. Reds, maybe? What other teams was he on? Behind Larry Walker is Jackson Kowar for the Royals. 99 for Brett. And a red Andrew McCutcheon out of five. Cardinals, that's right. A red team, not the Reds. Andrew McCutcheon, out of five. Chris Parent, out of five. Under. You know this. Train whistle. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! And we got a Manny Machado on a much heavier cardstock jersey and autograph. Orange, maybe a got an out of 25 scenario here. Yep, seven out of 25. That's Paul with the Padres. Got randomized the Padres in the filler. It's the Manny Machado. He's having a really strong season. 7 out of 25. Cedric Mullins, 99. Now you're encased cards. Nice Nick Madrigal. Cubs edition. Going to Lonnie, who won the Cubs in the filler. Nice Nolan Arenado, speaking of the Cardinals. 8 out of 35. Todd Zeal was a third baseman, wasn't he? Rex? Yeah, Cardinals, Cubs, Phillies, Orioles, Marlins, Dodgers, Rangers, Rockies, Nats, Yankees, and Mets for Todd Zeal. Arenado goes to Jesse and the Cardinals. Picked up the Cardinals straight up. Gavin Sheets. Nice Gavin Sheets for the Shy Sox. John R. with the Southsiders. Jorge Soler, Braves to 75. Gary. Freddie Peralta to 50 for the Brew Crew. John. And Tori Hunter to 15. Nice low number there for the twin. That's going to be for Martin Diaz. Or I guess it could be Martin. Either way, there you go. Maybe I'm thinking of baseball pitcher Martin Perez. gentlemen. Uh, Mariners win again. They beat the Nationals 7-4 in the first game of the doubleheader. Mets beat the Braves 7-3. Lindor leading the Mets power game 
and win over Charlie Morton and the Braves. And they've, they've won two of the three in their NLE showdown with the Atlanta Braves. It's according to ESPN. Twins beat the Brew Crew at Target Field, 4-1. to one. Brewers only managing four hits. Brady Singer won for the first time in over a month as the Royals beat the Tigers. 5-2 to two and get the series win. Brandon Crawford hit a game-ending RBI single, completing the rally over the Diamondbacks. They won 4-3. to three. Mariners win again, their doubleheader, 2-1. to one. Second game of the doubleheader in Washington. 2-1 Mariners over the Nets. In extras, Marlins score three in the 10th to rally past the Pirates, 5-4. to four. Jesus Aguilar hit a tying single and scored the winning run on a wild pitch. This Reds-Yankees game was another wild one. Yankees beat the... Uh, Red 7-6 in extras, but there were there were a lot of runs early and often. Blue Jays beat the Phillies 8-2. All-star Shane McClanahan wins his 10th game. Rays beat the Red Sox again 4-1. And regained the major league lead in strikeouts. White Sox beat the Guardians again 2-1. Gain a split in the four-game series. Giolito pitched one run ball into the seventh inning. We were watching this game a little bit earlier. I was fired up. The Dodgers erase a late six-run deficit and rally past the Cardinals 7-6. Orioles beat the Cubs 7-1 in Chicago. John Gray sharp through seven innings. Rangers beat the A's 5-2. Yeah, John Gray started off the season, season a little slow, but has been, uh, has been heating up recently after couple, uh, one or two short IL stints. Jose Iglesias drove in a career high six runs with a homer and two singles. His Rockies beat the Padres 10 to six. Otani wins sixth straight start and triples an Angel 7-1 win. Right, he's pretty good. That's the, that's the scoreboard update for Wednesday, July 13th, 2022. Yeah, I, yeah, I got there. I got to that score. That was a late game, so it was on the bottom of the scoreboard. Trivia, which player played for the most teams? It was that one pitcher. He was with the Dodgers at one point, too, early in his career. It was an old Dodgers prospect, I want to say, that came up with the Dodgers and then just bounced around almost everywhere. Blanking on his name, though. Edwin Jackson. That's right. Yeah, it's Edwin Jackson. He's got a he. Uh, he's got a lot of hats. He's got a lot of hats in his closet. I want to say. Nick Castellanos to 50 for Cincinnati. And a Tory Hunter, jersey and autograph, piece of a star, jersey and auto. There you go, Gary with the Angels. See, see what I mean? Play to the whistle. Fourteen teams for Edwin Jackson. Is he still playing, Rex? Do you have that info handy? Got a nice autograph, Tory Hunter. 80 out of 99, Fran Mill Reyes for Cleveland, and you're in case. You're final in case cards. We're at the end. We made it. We got Paul Molitor. 41 out of 50 for John and the Brew Crew. Got Matt Veerling, rookie card for the Phillies, Chris Parent. 
Pudge. Pudge right of. And Marlins, you usually see him as a, as a ranger. That goes to Aaron and the fish. Luis Robert, pure power autograph. That's nice. That's going to go to John and the White Sox, John Rubner. Tyler McGill, rookie autograph for the Metropolitan. That's going to go to Aaron. And last but not least, it is Cool Whit Merrifield. 69, nice, out of 75. Excellent. And there you go, gang. Uh, first, let's give away... Uh, we're going to send all these cards to one person. So let's go back to this list right here. Let's gather everybody's names. And winner take all on the... Uh, on the Diamondbacks cards. And there's a train whistle in there too and an autograph. Let's roll it, randomize it. Six and a one, seven times. Name on top after seven, we'll get the Diamondbacks. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a one. Seventh and final time. And that's congrats to well, first of all, sorry to the second spot, Aaron. Very close, but not quite. But there can be only one. It's Chad. I don't think I called Chad numbers number too often in this break, but Chad, guess what? You got the Diamondbacks. You got a Tyler Gilbert rookie autograph. You got a Seth Beer. He's a pretty big prospect, actually. 11 out of 25. And a train whistle. There's Carson Kelly. Two out of five. Chad Daw. All aboard. Woo woo. So there are your Diamondbacks hits. Here were your hits from the packs, the Torrey Hunter, the Machado, McCutcheon to five, Walker Bueller. This actually was a really nice break. Christian Yelich, Sheffield, Wander Franco rookie card, Ara Arania, Nelson Cruz, and a Wander Franco insert. So that's pretty nice. Got a, a bunch, of, bunch of cards that we're gonna sleeve and top load. Those are pretty nice. Here's the, uh, the encased cards from the first half of the the first half of the uh, case. Ooh, your first train whistle, Chad. Congrats. That's actually kind of a memorable one. Getting skunked the entire break until he got randomized. The Diamondbacks got a train whistle. Not too shabby. Zach Wheeler, Paul DeYoung. Nice, and this was the second half of the case right here. Nice Luis Robert. This is really nice. That, listen, that, the packaging yeah, a little, is is a little bit of a, a little bit of a hurdle, but I feel like the stuff inside is really nice. Pick your team three in the store right now. Grab your teams, and that might be one of our first breaks of the day tomorrow. Nice Ozzie Smith, Tyler Glass now. Ray's had a nice break. Joe Adele, Verlander to twenty five for the Strohs. That was Michael Brinson, by the way, with the Astros. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. Um, I will see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.